Hi, I'm Casey O'Neill, and this is part of the 100 Testimony Challenge, where I talk about 100 stories of my life with Jesus. Um, welcome! I'm so glad you're here. Today we are talking about another Good Samaritan. If you haven't heard the other Good Samaritan story, um, I will link it um, down below. But this one, so we had just had that really intense snow where I think it was four feet of snow came down and when there's four feet of snow on the ground and it has hardened overnight and you didn't get to your car before it it's um it was like we were we were trying to dig it out by hand and it was nearly impossible anyway uh also to point out it was parked by the street and municipality had plowed it in. There was so much snow. It's not like they could be like, hey, here, you know. So it was, uh, it was a lot, a lot of snow. And I had hurt my back because I had already been shoveling snow almost all day. <laughs> or have a good part of the day I was shoveling snow. And so my back was already hurt and I was pretty much done. And I knew we had to shovel this snow out. And I was just like, Lord, just get, give me strength. I, I don't know what to do here. And uh, I honestly, it looked impossible. For how much snow, there was like a car's worth of snow where what we had to shovel out in order for our car to get out so that we would not be stuck in this bank, like snow bank by this time. And like, we just needed the manpower. And so we're shoveling for about three minutes and I'm just like, I'm out of breath. And I am just looking at the snow bank thinking, Lord, like, please help us. Please, please help us. Like help us find the right path to be able to get this out enough so that we can get this thing out. And along comes a big red truck and he has a huge plow on it and he just tells us to get step aside and then he plows it for us. Like, I was just praising Jesus. I actually have the video and I showed it in one of my shorts but I will I will um, put it in this video so you can see the amount of snow that he pushed away in a couple of minutes. to take the time. He could have just drove right past. There was probably 3,000 other people stuck in this situation and he stopped and helped us and it took him maybe two or three minutes to, to do all of it and I was I I was bawling. By the time I got into our house I was just bawling and just praising Jesus and <laughs> Declan's like he like didn't he didn't understand why I was crying and I'm like I'm just so thankful I'm so thankful for this man because he didn't have to stop honey he didn't have to stop but he did and he changed our lives like this we both have back problems we both were in a lot of pain from shoveling a bunch of snow and it changed it. Instead of us being in a lot of pain for months and months and months, it was a couple of weeks to get our strength back. And then it did it. And, and I was just, I was so in awe of God here too. I was so in awe of God here that he would touch somebody else's heart for us. 
and change our lives. Because, my God, I know loves me. I know he looks after me. I know he protects me. I know this. He is my father. I am a daughter of the king. And I know my dad, my father, looks out for me. He protects me. He is there for me every single day. And he can be there for you too. And if you are already a child of God, he is there for you too. And we can celebrate together. Amen. Amen that our God loves us so much that he would do stuff like this for us all. And he knows where we're at. God knows where we're at in our physical, mental, emotional, whatever is going on. He knows and he knows what we need and he knows what we can handle and he knows what's going to make it so we can lean on him and just cling to him. Because God is so, so good. And I really want to give him all the glory for this, especially for this, because he is just so amazing. And I know this was God because I was praying and it looked impossible. Like we were going to have to spend a lot of money to get it towed and pulled out. I am just so grateful for our God and he is just so incredibly amazing. So amen. Amen to that. Um, and okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this good Samaritan. Lord, please just pour out your blessings on this man, this sweet man. And Lord, I know there's other Good Samaritan stories that you have here with the people who are listening to this. And Lord, just please pour out blessings on them too. The people that have touched the other people across the screen's life. Lord, you are so amazing and incredible. And I am just in awe that you think of me too. You are the creator of the universe. You know every hair on my head and anyone else's head too. And you can keep track of all of this and not get tired and not, not have to rest. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, please touch our hearts today. Please change our hearts today and help us be good Samaritans when you call us to do so, Lord. Help us stand out as Christians. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for spending the time in watching. Um, I, I, I really hope you have a wonderful day. I do want to remind you, you are chosen. You are wanted. You are needed. And you are most definitely loved by Jesus. You are loved by Jesus. Amen. Amen. First John 4, 7 through 12. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us 
and his love is perfected in us. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Matthew 22:37 through 39 And he said to him You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind This is the great and first commandment The second is like it You shall love your neighbor as yourself Matthew 19:26 but Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Luke 1, 37 For nothing will be impossible with God. Colossians 3, 14 And above all, these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Deuteronomy 6, 5 You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Matthew 